Hi everyone, welcome to the Sun City Stitchers channel. I'm Carlene and I'm Marlene and this is floss tube number 79. We want to start out by wishing you all a very happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. We hope that you have um, plans to spend it with family and enjoy um, a hopefully a beautiful day. I don't know. We're going back and forth between we're going to have wind and we're not going to have mm -hmm. wind. So I don't know if it's going to be beautiful here or not, but yeah. um, we'll see. Time mm -hmm. will tell. Yeah. Um, we're glad you're all joining us. Mm -hmm. We want to say a great big welcome to our returning viewers. We appreciate so much that you spend a few minutes um, and join us when we do our videos. And we also want to say a great big welcome to our new subscribers. Marlene and I are really pushing to get to a thousand. Yes. Um, we have an anniversary coming up and we don't do a big celebration, no. but we would love to have a thousand subscribers by the time we hit that anniversary date. Um, so anniversary. those of you who took um, a minute and subscribe to our channel, thank you very much. If you haven't done that, we hope you like what you see today and that you will consider subscribing to our channel. <laughs> um, so those are just a few welcome notes. <laughs> uh, Marlene, anything happening at your house that's new? No, no, nothing new. I just did tutoring, a very light week of tutoring this week. Yes, it was very sporadic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had two that were on spring break, but then the other ones just had other things going on. And so. And then you had one that was sick, didn't yeah. you, at the beginning of the week? Yeah. Or was that last week? No, uh, well, he wasn't sick. The mom was <gasps> That's sick. That's right, it was the mother the mom, that was the sick. The mom was sick, yeah. yeah so. so. So yeah, so yeah, so it was just kind of sporadic. But we haven't we haven't had good. much. We had I had to make another trip to the vet with Mickey yesterday. Um, to take yes. him yesterday, he just has a very sensitive tummy, and it seems like his digestive system gets off, and then I don't want to not take him, and yet I feel like one of those overprotective parents, yeah. <laughs> where I'm always running to the doctor with my fur baby. But, um, and he's fine. She did recommend changing his food again. We had just changed mm -hmm. it. Um, but she thinks this one will be a little better. And there's a couple of other things we're going to do. Um, so he's fine. Uh, one of our viewers last week, was it Gloria? Yes, Gloria. That I'm said, have it we didn't so. even talk about him. Cause, well, and yes. I, it just happened that we had just, I had fed the cats lunch. And so they were yes. being very good and mm -hmm. taking naps. So he he wasn't in in the in in the video last week, um, but he he wanted to be in the video today because yes. he's being very babyish. But Charlie's home; he didn't have school today, of course, because of Good Friday, and um, so he is in the bedroom with Charlie. And I hope he will stay there. Yes, yes. <laughs> so but Gloria was... wanted to know how big Mickey was. Oh yes, well he is a very big cat. He's he was over 25 pounds and then now he's been on this other food um for a while and he is losing some weight so he was 22 pounds and i don't know what he was yesterday oh, he's yeah. still very big for a cat it's like a small dog yes um but uh you know it is what it is yeah so <laughs> so <laughs> Yes, and then we had, um, we'll come back to this, but let's go yes. on to our other um, uh, questions and um, shout outs. You wanted to talk about Oh, Veronica? yes, I talked to Nancy of FaithWorks um, this week and uh, we were chatting on the phone and she said that she had gotten the sweetest note um, and she said she was one of our viewers. So Veronica from Arkansas. Um, she was so appreciative of the kind note that you sent thanking her for the stitchy box. So um, I just wanted you to know how thrilled she was and um, how truly grateful she felt that you had taken time to send her a little message about um, all the things in the in the first quarterly stitch box. So Veronica, just know that mm -hmm. your kind words were very, very much appreciated by Nancy and um, and yes, she that was it. so nice. Yes, it was very mm -hmm. sweet of you. So I wanted to just do a big shout out to Veronica from Arkansas. And then um, Gloria had a couple of other questions. She wanted to know how long we've been stitching. So. 
We've been stitching since we were in college. Actual cross stitching. Yeah. We, we learned when we were in college. college. So yeah. that was the 80s, the uh -huh. late 80s. Yeah. Um, or the well, mid, mid 80s, mid 80s, 84, 80s. 85, I suppose. Yes. And, um, and we really have never gone like away from cross stitching. No. Mm -hmm. We have, since we learned, we always have cross stitched yeah. pretty regularly. Yeah. Yeah. We, Not but, as much when we were both still um, teaching, teaching and, that it, and in the classroom. ended up being more of like a vacation, yeah. summertime yeah. thing. Yeah. Although we always had projects yes. right by us, but yes. we just didn't always have time to work on them or as much as what we do now. To get them or out. energy, yes. <laughs> and um, But Marlene and I started when we were very little, like mm -hmm. early elementary school. Yeah. Um, our mother taught us how to embroider, and we embroidered on dish towels. So I and think pot holders um, and yes, I covers think and... all of our older sisters got a set of dish towels yeah. from us, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the flower sacks, and we embroidered on. Yeah. And Mom would iron the pattern on. Uh huh. And everything and we would embroider on them. it. So we did that, and then we did a lot of cruel. Yeah. Um, the little kits that you could buy. Mm -hmm. I remember buying them at the fabric department of jc penny's mm -hmm. when they had a fabric craft mm -hmm. oh section. yeah i remember that too uh -huh. and we would buy the cruel mm -hmm. kits there and we and so we did a lot of the cruel um stitching and those so, were the little ones that we got at the pennies were the ones that had the little girls yeah and then i did one that was larger that was a plant stand and it had oh, decorative yeah. stitches I remember that one. and yeah. and then there was one that we bought when our dad was in the va hospital in Miles City, I remember we had been looking at it and looking at it, and then he told mom to go buy it for us. Yeah, yeah. So it was one anyway, with flowers and leaves and stuff. Yeah, in it. and it was so, very pretty. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So oh, we've we've yes. stitched a long, long time, yes. a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, so those were questions, and then yes. we also had Pam asked a question about the sewing method. Um, and if we could do a tutorial, and neither Marlene or I use the sewing method um, very much. I do have one project um, that, and it's the Fox and Rabbit Changing Seasons. Um, and I am using the sewing method on that one. It's for the border because it's just, oh, I have a dangling thread here, so I'm sorry. And now, I don't know what I've done. <laughs> now I've made a big mess. Okay, just a minute. Um, I'm using the sewing method on the border because it's just a straight row of stitches. And, and but I, we, neither Marlene or I stitch in hand mm -hmm. with, and then using the sewing method. So I did, I am stitching this in hand using the sewing method just for this border. And when I do the next border, which is leaves, um, I'm going to use the sewing method for that one also because, again, it's just one color and, and a very repetitive um, kind of stitch. Yeah. But I would not be um, at all confident to do a tutorial because I, I'm not an expert by any means on doing um, stitching in hand and then, do, so, and then doing the sewing method. Um, it's quicker, but your stitches, at least mine, my stitches do lay just a little bit different. So I wouldn't want to mix and match, except for something like this, where you're really not going to notice that the border is different from this. But I wouldn't want to do like some in hand and then some stick stab yeah. method. So mm -hmm. Pam, I'm sorry, no tutorial because um, we're really not very we're not very proficient no, at I it i don't um i don't know it bothers me to have all that fabric to stitch in hand i just don't this this has not been like bad it. but again it's because it's just one yeah. row all the way across so yeah, it's, it's been still. fine so that was that question okay so thank you yes. for those questions yes. so those are the questions and then um was it just last? Yeah, last weekend, um, our niece and her family were visiting. Oh, that's right. That they're the so full time. Fun. Yes, they're they're the full time RVers, and they had been down in Mexico for about six weeks. Uh huh. Um, in the Puerto Penasco area. Yeah, Rocky and, Point or Puerto Penasco. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. anyway, so they were traveling back this way, 
um, they were actually going over to San Antonio so that they can um, see the eclipse. Yes, on April the 8th. Yes, so, so they stopped here for the weekend, and so we got to spend some time with them. So yes, we had a good time. Fun. They were going to be here earlier, but yeah. they had some technical difficulties. Yes. They had a, a wheel problem yes. and that, that had to be On repaired. And so. so, yes, and then yeah. wind one day delayed yes. them because... Traveling with their RV, mm -hmm. um, it's a, is not the, a good thing. Um, our our niece's husband Brian pulls it with their with the truck, and then Beth Ann follows with the jeep in back. Um, that way, if they're in traffic, she can move over and leave a space so that he mm -hmm. can change lanes safely and that kind yeah. of thing. Um, but pulling that RV is not good when you have high winds. No. So they had to delay their trip to get here to El Paso yes. one day. And they had to delay leaving one day yeah. because we had awful wind last Sunday. Uh -huh. so, so, but we had a really good time while, we they, did. Were there, while they were here. We and Caitlin did a sleepover. Yes, she did a sleepover here. So. And we made um, pizza and I helped her make an omelet for breakfast the morning when she <laughs> stayed here. And... And what else did we do? We, we played, played games. card games. Yes, we she played. taught us card games. The one we played, Marlene played with us. It's yeah. called Bananas. And Marlene was like, I really don't see the point of this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's because she wanted to be cross stitched. Yeah. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> it was a kind it was a fun game, yeah. but it kind of went on and on and on and on. Yes. So, yes, but it, it was fun and we had a good time. Yes, it and, was perfect. And she's we not here often, so we have to enjoy yes, the time that yes. we do get to spend. And then we had, um, and then we went to the to the brewery, the Dead Beach um, Brewery. It's a so, local brewery uh -huh. here. Um, so that but, was really fun. And, and it happens that the people that, that own the brewery, um, it's their small business. They were parents of mine when I was a principal at the element, one of the elementary schools here. And so it's, it's even mm -hmm. more, um, it, it's more fun to go yeah. because you know, you're yeah. supporting a family. Yeah. And so That's anyway, so that was good. It yes, was very was, fun. Yes, that was very fun. Okay. So, so anyway, so we had a very good time while a they were here. Time. So, and then we have, um, we're going to announce our giveaway from last oh, time. Yes. We were giving away the heartstring samplery pattern. Home is where your heart is. And it goes to Becky Wilson, 3425. So Becky, congratulations. We will have our email address in the comments below in the description. And so if you will reach out to us and give us your physical mailing address, we will get that off in the mail to you right away. Um, we are going to do a giveaway at the end of our video today, so stay tuned for that. And... Make a note so I don't forget. I think that takes care of all of those things. Yes. So, okay, so now we're ready to talk about our... Um, fully, uh, fully finished. We don't have any fully finished. No, things. fully finished. But we I'm do have some finishes. Next week, I'm going to get Where to that over there. Okay, we each have a house done. Mm -hmm. So I got my DE done. I this was a new start, oh. so I got it started and finished. Oh, that's good. Yes, the houses take a while. Yeah, it was very fun though. Mm -hmm. I did it as a morning stitch, oh, yeah. so I was sort mm -hmm. of like, one morning I'm going to do this, and the next morning I'm mm -hmm. going to do that. And it was fun. So it was very fun. fun. This so was the pretty. one I finished. This is IJK. That is my favorite so far. I know. I like I, this one. I like this sheet down mm -hmm. here in the grass. I like the color of the house, and I love this. Yeah, that was really fun. It's so pretty. So anyway, so that one's mine. Okay, so I'll take that. So that's the only finish I had. And then I finished my new to me designer, Chubby Bunny. And if oh, you that's so cute. Isn't that cute? That's um really cute. I watched Helen D. And she showed a round fully finished that she had done and she had used a a little clock. Oh, uh -huh. And then she had put the round piece over where the face of the clock should have been. Mm -hmm. And so I want to look to see if I can find a cute little clock 
or some kind of little round picture oh, yeah. frame. That would be cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would be really cute. So I finished that. And then I also finished um, Big Hearted Tiny Town. I got oh, that one that's done. Good. So that one is ready to be mine fully didn't finished. Get, mine didn't get started. It got booted out so, before it got started. Yes. So, and then um, I forgot we were supposed to do oh, what's yeah, on we display. Oh, yeah, do these. So let's do that now. Little things, those things are a little bit out of order, but that's okay. okay. So. All right, so then, of course, we decorated for, well, we took our, our shamrock stuff mm -hmm. down and put up all of our spring and Easter stuff. Yes. Um, so, what do you have? I have this little sheet. This was a Faithworks design. This and do you just put it on a little easel? Yeah, I just put it on a little easel. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. so, I have that one, too. I like I know where I, I like that one. Very cute. And that has cute little buttons for the, at least one little button. Oh, on the blanket, on yeah. the sheet blanket. Oh, that's Tula. really cute. I had I this one. one that we did, well, years ago, 1996 is the year we put on there. And this was when Marlene and I belonged to a club out at Counted Thread, and it was the Black Sheep Club. And this was the April project that we did. My um, sister Linda fully finished it for me as a little pillow, but I, that design mm -hmm. is really cute. It is really cute. I remember the bunny took forever. Yes, all that brown, mm -hmm. but it's really cute. Done. Yes, it is. And then I also did this one. This is another Faithworks design. It's one of her little boxes. It says Happy East. No, it doesn't. Yeah, Happy Easter. Popping. Um, Popping, popping up, up to, to say, say happy, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yes. So, anyway, there's that. Aren't these little toppers so They're so cute. cute. Mm -hmm. She did a whole bunch like that. Really cute. And then the little banding just goes around. Really cute. So, anyway, so and then the I have I a Faithworks design. This oh, was yeah, our spring getaway up. last year. And it was, it finished in, the it was spring a spring Quaker. Quaker. So pretty. And it was finished in a little vintage clock that um, I spray painted black. And so I really like this. She's mm. going to do the other seasons, but she hasn't done them yet. So I really I like this. I have to get mine out. So that For was Faithworks design. Things out. Yes, that was very pretty. Very okay. pretty. Okay, um... Then we are going to show, um, so we already did our finishes. So now we're going to start, uh, do new starts. Oh, I just had one. Mm. I had a couple of new starts. I had another one during March Madness, but I'm going to um, show that yes. one later. I, this was my, um, new kit start for the Facebook, um, group that I belong to that our friend Trisha has. It was a new 2024 new kit start. Well, that was your March new kit start? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Yes, so it was, didn't. the prompt was a heart. Oh, okay. Something with a heart. And so um, this is what I got started. It's Shepherd's Bush. It's done with the called for fabric, um, which is 32 count antique white, I believe. Uh, with it was a oh, well it was a kit so of course mm -hmm. the fabric and the floss came mm -hmm. the floss are silks and that so that was my start it's actually going very fast I just worked on it mm -hmm. a couple of times and um, I'm not sure if I it it's on my bracket but I don't remember if I need to work on it one more time it doesn't look like it it looks like I've already stitched on it. Okay, and then we both started the uh, stitching with the housewives um, seasons, sayings, sayings of, of the, the seasons, seasons, spring. So put, put a little up. spring in your step. step. Yes, and this is what I have done. I have a dangling thread. Oh, I think I have the exact same amount. <laughs> this is the, done on 28 count black monocle. Black monocle. Mm -hmm. with, with classic, classic colors. colors. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have the same yes. amount done. 
I had to put the G in for 100 stitches because it moved on. It's so cute. This is going to go and be one of my yes. um, morning stitches now. Yes, it's going to be April. one of mine. That I <laughs> Um, in it. Sorry. So I'll those were new chair. starts. Yes, new starts. Okay, then we had um, some stitching progress. We had our one thread a day. Go ahead and show yours while I get Okay, so my one thread a day is the Quaker Rocky Road by Tempting Tangles. And it's stitched on 25 count fabric, I'm not sure of the color, and it's being stitched with the dinky dye silks. One, one strand string. over one fabric thread. So this is what I've gotten done. I haven't seen it now. Oh, so I finished pretty. up the border so up here. The border. Yes. So is that all the yes. way across them? No, uh -uh. there's another section in, over to here. About. So. And now I'm working on oh, another so chocolate piece. So Very pretty. Yes, it's very fun. I need to put some... I'm working for my one thread a day. I'm doing the My Big Toe design. It is well with my soul. I worked on that one last night for... Mania? So, for March Madness, yeah. Oh, yeah, not Mania. Just a yeah. hundred stitches. Okay. Oh, my goodness. And this is what I have done. So oh, I'm so almost done. I did not put in a hundred stitches yesterday and I haven't done today's yet. So I have a little catching up. One thread. Today. You didn't do one thread yesterday, you mean? Right. What did I say? A hundred. Oh yeah. Stitches. One thread. One I did not do my one thread yesterday and I didn't haven't done it yet today. But otherwise I'm caught up. So I'm almost done with the second verse. And this is the bottom of page one. So when I stitch this over here, I'll be done with page one oh, and two. Oh, and there's good. six pages. So I'll be oh, a third of the way oh, done. That's good. That's what yes. So that is coming along really good. Pretty. This is, oh, let me show you. This is what I, I have. Oh. I have just this corner done, all done with the inside too. And then I have the outline of the next section and the little green leaf right there. That's all I have done on my <laughs> so. Okay. Okay. And then, um, oh, and then we worked on um, Celtic Dancer. So that's, that's this one. This was from the European Cross Stitch Magazine, uh, Cross Stitch Gold, mm -hmm. and it's no longer in print. And this one is still going on in my bracket. Oh, she's still dancing. Mm -hmm. Yep, she is. So this is what I had done. Oh, so pretty. Oh, so you so. started on her hair over Yeah, here. so I went, because I didn't want to do all of this over here is all the half stitches. Half stitches. And that's just too hard to keep track of when you're trying to count stitches. So I came over here and worked on her. So that's what I'm going to keep doing. And then when I'm not counting stitches anymore, I'll go back to doing the half. This is what I have done. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You have some of her arm and everything. Yeah. Too. Yeah, I've started so working pretty. the green. Yes, I love this. She's, She's so, so pretty. pretty. So we're stitching this on 28 count um, antique, white. antique white with anchor floss. Using anchor floss. And then, and then I worked on my new to me designer, which was Brenda Gervais. And I did uh, Spring Awakens. This was a new release at market last year. I still have to finish this up. I'm gonna work on it today, I think. And that's what I have done. So poor little boy bunny doesn't have a head yet. That's well, then you done. have, well, today and tomorrow, you maybe yeah. can get it done. Yeah, it should go pretty fast. So, anyway, Very it's really cute. Fun. It's really I fun. love that design. I really want to do the robins. Yes, I want to do the robins, too. 
Well, Mylene's finishing up her new to me designer. I'm still finishing up the second of my houses. This is the Christmas house. And I am very close to done. It will get finished this month. Oh, I did I bump the camera? Yes, I think I yeah. bumped the camera. Okay, so the front is done. Oh, wow. Look at that cut work. And you already did that. Oh, no, you haven't done the weave. I haven't yet. wrapped it yet. Wrapped, yes. But I did cut it. So the Ooh, front so is scary. all done except to do the wrapping of the bars. I have to wrap the bars. And I'm working on the Christmas tree. I left a needle in here. The Christmas tree and the, the candle for the top window is done. This is 36 count. This was, um, do you remember what this was? Mm -mm. 25 count platinum, platinum linen. This is 25 count platinum linen. Oh, now it's sideways. <laughs> so that, and I'm using the called four flosses, except for the mm -hmm. leaves. I changed that to blue spruce, uh, which is a Weeks Dye Works um, over dyed floss. And I used that same blue spruce for the Christmas tree. So the tree is, the green oh, is all great. done on the tree and I'm putting in the ornaments now. So that's all I have left to finish. It takes a while though, because I'm not dragging my floss. Oh yeah. Um, there's a few that are close enough that I can, uh -huh. you know, weave underneath right. in the back, but most of them I'm having to tie off. Yeah, that always takes longer. So it's oh, really pretty. pretty. Mm -hmm. These are yes. all done with a blended uh, needle. So it's one strand of a, of a regular anchor color and then one strand of a metallic floss. Oh, so they look shiny. So they sparkle. Oh, how pretty. It's very Ooh, pretty. I can hardly wait to see how it So that out. is almost done. It's very pretty. Okay. Did you have anything else? Um, no. Um, okay. For for works in progress, that was all? Yeah. Yeah, that's all I had. Okay. We did, but we both did work on, you worked on yours, right? Yes, so my baseball. Yeah, but game. I forgot to bring it. Starting day of opening day of opening baseball, day of baseball was, was Thursday, Thursday, the 28th. Mm -hmm. And so I did get this out. Did you watch any? I did. I watched the Cardinals and mm -hmm. the Dodgers. I, did I didn't watch the whole thing oh, though, I didn't because either. they were doing not good. No. Cardinals weren't doing good. So I got the grass filled in down here at the bottom mm -hmm. and I started the words take me out. Uh -huh. which is on this page that's good so, i got well i had i had it this all done so you were just filling um in. i have to do the words yet over here and i was just filling in this green grass over here on the side that's what i worked on so i don't so. think the finishing up is going to take all that long no we have to figure out how to do the people yes we have to work on the people and okay, speaking then, of the people yes one of my homework projects for March on my magical stitch in my magical stitches group was a um, nativity and I, I needed to do um, 400 stitches because I did it for two projects and so for I got prompts. for two prompts so I got the wise man I got him all outlined with the red and then I got his headpiece started and I put his face in and I changed the color of his face. I am gonna go back and I'm gonna change this shepherd and I'm and I may just take a one strand of a color so that he has a little bit more tanned mm -hmm. look. They're shepherds, they're outside. Yeah. I don't understand why they're so pale. Yeah. And even I don't mind Mary being very fair. Because that's what I think of her. But yeah. I think Joseph should be a little bit ruddier looking. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add, and I think I'm going to just do one strand and add over the top mm -hmm. so that I just give a little bit more color. And I'm going to do the same thing with the shepherd's panel and the wise man's panel and change their oh, face wow. colors a little bit. 
Um, because mm -hmm. I was really happy with how he looked. Yeah, he looks really good. Mm -hmm. So which color? Do you remember which color she used? Um, uh, 1082. Mm. And what color did you use for his beard? And his... Um, not black. Um, 1041 or something? No, it wasn't gray. It was the, one of the... The dark browns? Yes. Like 381 but or 382? It could have been. It was 300. It's almost black. It's mm -hmm. the one that we used to use. Um, the DMC color is 3371. We used it for all the back uh -huh. stitching when we used to do... Um, um, yeah, that might be 381. The the Precious Moments oh, designs, yeah. remember? Mm -hmm. And they were all backstitched uh -huh. with that dark, yeah. almost black, but not quite black. I used that color, but the anchor color uh -huh. for his beard. And I I like it a yeah, lot. Yeah, it looks good. Mm -hmm. I So anyway, I was very happy with that. So that yes. was homework. So all my homework is for March. That's is what we're going to do on our... On our baseball one, too. Yes, we're going to do the same thing on the baseball one, just to make the crowd a little bit more diverse. I don't yes. want them all to be pale. No. And like and it, it, then the colors that they have, just like on the baseball one, they're all, like, not even, like, it's summer. They should yeah. at least, even if mm -hmm. they are white, yeah. they should have some color. They're out yeah. in the sun. Mm -hmm. It's baseball season. Yes. So. Yes, that's then right. Another homework and I was yes, my was stitching chair necessaire and I got a lot well it's not a lot but it is a lot um the border is all done now and I started on the letters I do have to come back and do the specialty stitches for the flowers because they'll be just like these down here they were spider web roses and then oh, yeah. another one that was like a spider web rose, but you did it reverse. So the flowers, see one, it you can see the flower covers the spokes and one, it's like the floss wraps around the spoke so that there's a raised oh. line here. Oh. Hmm. See? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty. So... I'll show Is again. That Mickey so scratching that's Mickey scratching. So here's the rows where you just weave over, under, over, under. And on this flower, you actually go over the, under the floss, then back over the floss, and then you go continue so you, around. So, you, so like, you can really see so the like rays. So you like wrap each like little bar of the spokes? Yes. So mm -hmm. you can really see how the little spokes are raised isn't that kind of like the one that we did on nancy's um, i'm gonna have to go let mickey okay. may come to visit because he's really throwing a tantrum isn't he's probably driving isn't that crazy. the one that we like what how we did that um the red chili peppers on nancy's house design yes but they were called a faux bullion oh okay oh, maybe it's Minnie wanting to go in it's Minnie. Oh, poor little Minnie. Is Minnie throwing a tantrum oh. wanting to go into the No, bedroom? no. <laughs> poor little Minnie. Okay. Okay, so that's um, our stitching, our stitching progress. progress. Now we're going on to um, some of our stitching March Madness. And you so know what? I'm going to just show this. Okay. Marlene and I... In order to keep track of what we did on our Stitching March Madness in our planners, this is mine from last week, you can see these are the projects mm -hmm. I stitched on uh -huh. each day. These days, Bethan and, and Caitlin and Brian were here, so you can see I didn't get that much stitching time. But Sunday, there was nobody here, and I, I got a lot yes, 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 you got a <laughs> Sunday. Lot. So that's how we kind of kept track yeah, of what we worked on. Mm -hmm. And then, should we show them our bracket? Yes. Do you want to show them yours and yes, kind of explain? Yes. And then I'll just here's show them. Here's my bracket. So the ones that I have highlighted are the ones that moved on. And then, and now the green, I switched colors when it got to the Sweet 16. So the green ones are the ones that are moving on to the Elite And eight. so how do you know if you've stitched on them? Oh, um, with those, um, for the um, first round of 
when they were in the 64, moving to the round of 32, I put a little pencil X. And then if I stitched on them for the round of 32, moving into the sweet 16, I put a little blue X by them. Okay. So that's how I did it. So that's mine. Well, I only highlight if they move on or if, if I've stitched on them. Because if they win, I already know that because I move them up onto the next line. So I don't highlight them. And then, so everything that's highlighted are all the ones that I've stitched so far. And if they're not highlighted, I still need to do 100 stitches for them. So I'm coming along really good. Mm -hmm. I should get pretty close to cut up this weekend. Yeah, I think I should I, too. I've gotten a little behind from what I normally would because I've been working so hard on getting Christmas house yeah. done. Mm -hmm. So I haven't gotten yeah, I just to work have, on it as I'm much. Doing, I'm doing the 100 stitches on my beach bungalow right now. And then I just have um, strawberry fields and um, just about four, four or five left to do for yeah. my first two rounds. And then I just That's have the 100 good. stitches to do for yeah, for the, the sweet, sweet 16. 16. So anyway, so the first one we're going to show you is a project that we had as one of our play-in games. We showed them to you last on our last video. And um, this was the project, it, and we each had one that actually got to move on. So in when, that first last one. time, Marlene and I showed eight projects that we had selected that had the that if they were paired with the team that won, they got to move into the field of 64. And of those eight, one of those projects advanced yeah. to the next set of games. Mm -hmm. So what so was yours that advanced? Mine was um, A Simple Egg by Shepherd's Bush. So... And so this is what I did. I just put the outline. I started in the middle and worked over to the outline and just well, and did the outline. Well, that would be a good one that you can go yeah. ahead and just work on now in yeah. April too. Mm -hmm. Even though Easter's over, yeah. April is still very springy yeah. and the egg is very yeah. springy looking. So anyway, so that's the one that moved on. Well, mine that that won and then advanced was Welcome Home Spring by Stitching with the Housewives. So I was very excited. And this is what I got done. I got the tulips done on top of the house. I'm stitching this on my favorite oh. black, which is 32 count charcoal Lugana, mm -hmm. using the called for classic colors. Two strands over two fabric threads. Yeah, and so mine was... I was doing these little um, tulips on top of the house. And mine was a kit, so everything came. I think it's a 32 count, yeah, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what they almost sure. always do. 32 Probably count white and, and um, silks. Yeah, and silks. With a silk loop. loop. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. Oh, no. It's just a um, this, so, this one is yes, going to silks. be one of my houses for April. So this one will get finished in April. So... Super okay. excited. I was very happy that that one made it. I was sad because there were, I wanted to I work on all of them. I know, I did So too. only one of them actually yes. got started. Yes, mine too. Now, three, the other three are, are on our calendar for May. And you know, yeah. well, I will talk about that at the April. end and I'll show. April. May. No, Stitch oh. Mania. Oh, Stitch Mania. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the other three. Because they didn't uh -huh. get stitched. No. Yes, right. Four of them are just out because right. they, they didn't make mm -hmm. it in, but the the three that made it in. Yes. Okay, then we're going to do our number ones next, or are we going to do our Cinderella's? No, let's do number ones. Okay. I have it in the wrong order. That's okay. Okay. Are you doing the one that you had as number one with? It doesn't Yukon? matter. Okay. So I'm just going to show this. Yeah. Okay, so one of my number ones was Poison Garden. Shadow Lane. Yes, so Shadow Lane design. And we're stitching this on Graceful Gray. Uh-huh, 32 count Graceful Gray. Graceful Gray, and let's see. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And this is what I... Oh, so pretty. And um, can you hold it? 
Yeah. Um, I worked on this. I did this black border here around the corner. And then I put in um, this green down here along the border. And then all of these green little leaves down there. So that was your 100 stitches? Yes, that was my 100 stitches. Okay. Now, is this one still dancing? No, it got out last night. Okay, so it's done. Yes, it was Houston. It got out. Um, I am doing, one of my number ones was Plum Street Sampler. This is the day. And this is what I have done. I finished the words and started the checkerboard um, at the very bottom for my stitches. Oh, that's good. Yes. And this one is still dancing. So it will get more stitches. I'll do my other one there. Okay. And then another one of my number ones was Frog Princess. This is a Mirabilia design. And I'm doing this on Persian gray. Uh huh. And 30 count Persian 30, gray. 30 count Persian gray. And this is what I have done. Okay, I'll hold it so you can show what you worked on. I worked on these flowers. I worked on her neck. Oh, pretty colors. And these you finally flowers. getting to do some pinks. Right and there. yes. Ooh, fun. So, and this one is out too. Oh, so sad. Yes. She's not dancing anymore. No. I got to do some stitches on Hawaii Garden. And I actually worked on um, um, uh, just this corner right up here. I put the, uh, the back stitching around the volcano, the gold. That was a hundred stitches. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that was one set. And then for the second set of hundred, I started the leaves and the stem of um, the the orchid. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in that corner. Ooh, so pretty. I got that started. Oh, that's um, so pretty. But this one is done now. It got out. It's out. Okay. Yes. Okay, then another one that I did that I worked on was a long dog sampler. Quilted bees. Quilted bees, yes. The quilted bees. And oh, you know, I didn't say my Hawaii is stitched on 30 count uh, pecan shortbread. Oh, mm -hmm. and I'm using a variety of flosses. Anchor. Anchor. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is this is what I have done. I worked on just worked on filling in the green. Mm -hmm. This is on 32 count light sand mm -hmm. using anchor Girl floss loss. and some credit braids or treasure mm -hmm. braids. Treasure braids. And this one is still dancing. Yay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, Sarah Millthorpe was one of my number ones. And she is out. Mm. She is not dancing anymore. And I worked on the border. I continued the border. Let me see. That way, yeah, it needs to go up and down this way. Oh, you continued working on the border? I continued working on the border here. Mm -hmm. I'm stitching this on 40 count cream brulee. That's using the called for um, 103 silks. Very pretty. Okay, and then another one, another one of my number ones is Strawberry Fields Farm from Victoria Sampler. And I'm not going to show you the stitched piece because I haven't gotten to stitch on this one yet. It's one I still have to do 200 stitches. Well, 300 stitches now. Cause because they won yesterday mm -hmm. or the day before. Yesterday. It's my, very good Purdue. Um, and this is my last number one, oh, no. which is Wildflower Garden by John Thread. I'm stitching it on 32 count cream Belfast linen using needlepoint silks. Mm -hmm. And I've only stitched on this one time, so I need to do 200 more stitches because it's still dancing. Um, I worked on finishing the fence all the way across and I started putting in the green of the little grass that's here at the base of the house. So this one, 
I will continue to work on because it's still going. Yes. So yay. Okay, then we had some Cinderella's. Okay. Our so. Cinderella's, of course, are our projects that were um, like, Hair, for example, them. we're gonna show you one that was a number six. It, it was a number 11, mm -hmm. and it beat a number six. six. Mm -hmm. So it's a Cinderella team. Yes. So that one, in fact, that one was my Hoppy Hedgy. Oh, let me show you a picture first. Hoppy Hedgy. This is a FaithWorks design. So this was your 611 matchup? 611 matchup. Mm -hmm. So there he is, dressed like the Easter Bunny. And so this is what I have done. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all done except for the, I have to back stitch. You're coming it. along really good with yeah, that. Yeah, it goes fast. Oh darn, this isn't the, oh yes. Uh, 28 count ice blue okay. Lugana. Mm -hmm. And, and then anchor, anchor floss. floss. Well, my, so my 611 upset was Belle Paris. Oh, wow. And she's still dancing uh -huh. because they too. won again yes. yesterday. Mm -hmm. So um, the so number happy. 11 team made it into yeah. the Elite So Hoppy Hedgy is going to get another 100 stitches. I have a dangling thread, but I need to go back and do some more, another 100 stitches. I was working on, I started on her scarf and filling in her, her coat that she oh, has here, wow. so I'm just filling in. Oh, you've gotten so a lot done. I would, yeah, I want to get a head on her, mm -hmm. though. It would be nice if yes. she had a face. This <laughs> right here, over here, this little stuff that's just out hanging out here in the middle, that's the start of the border that goes around. Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> yes, I was like looking at it, it's like, what, what is that? Yeah, that's the border. Then and there was another big mm -hmm. upset. Yeah, a number three and a 14, and a 14, one. Moved on, uh huh. So that one was America the Beautiful from Stitching with the Housewives. Now, have you already stitched on this yes. one? Yes, mm -hmm. I've done that one. So you're done because yes. oh, we had a little technical glitch there. Mm -hmm. So, Marlene, you were going to show us your yes. project. And I'm showing you that America the Beautiful from Stitching with the Housewives. And we were saying that um, this team only won one game. So, Marlene's already done the 100, 100 stitches. stitches. I finished the A. <laughs> and those letters little, are so big. Yes, and I did this little bit of green from the viney thing. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Aren't you excited to go back and just get that yes. finished? Because you're so close. Yes, I just have to finish the word America. It's very pretty. It is. Mm -hmm. It looks very pretty. It's very, it was very fun. Well, my 314 matchup was uh, the fourth day of Christmas, the tree, because I've already finished the sampler. Mm -hmm. And all I got done to do a hundred stitches was the little bird's head. Oh that was gosh. it. That was a hundred <laughs> stitches. The beak and the... So I guess he's not such a little bird. Actually, maybe I did the word two also. I think all I had mm -hmm. done was joy. Mm -hmm. And so I did the two and the little um, head oh. of the bird. So that was my big upset. Oh my goodness. So. Okay, so that so was our. So does that our, take care of March Madness? Yes, that's our. So of course we March worked Madness. on a whole bunch of other projects, but yes. we, did, we you know a hundred stitches. You really don't get no. that much mm -hmm. done. So um, we will. We just kind of picked out some of them that we're going to show. The next you. time mm -hmm. that we do a video, we will show you what our our champion was yes. our final four yes. and our and our champion yes. um, team because we'll have one team that one project yes one project that won so yes. we'll show you our our cross stitch champion whip next yes. time so okay okay so then what um okay now we're gonna do what's coming up so the first thing that's what's coming up is we're gonna have a new to me designer start. This for is April. for April. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start this one on Monday. We're both doing the same one. This okay. Week. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Third time's the charm, right? <laughs> Another technical glitch. Um, so Praise of Pollinators is going to be our new to um, us designer. 
and we're going to be stitching it on a fabric from Atomic Ranch, which is 40 Count Storm. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be using the Call for DMC yes. Floss. DMC. And then there's and a there few. Three um, yeah. that are uh, over dyed right. uh, cotton over -dyed threads. Cottons, yeah. One week's dye works in and two, two classic, classic colors. colors. Mm -hmm. So we will be using those. Um, we're going to start this colors on. look really pretty. I do too. I think it looks really pretty mm -hmm. on that. And I think mm -hmm. that looks very close to yeah. the fabric mm -hmm. that um, yeah, I think so too. she used. There's uh -huh. might be a little more blue, but I think it's going to look really pretty on I that. I think so. So 40 mm -hmm. Count Storm by Atomic Ranch. Mm -hmm. And we're so, starting this on Monday. Monday. Mm -hmm. On Monday. So. April 1st. Yes. So Yay. this one probably, uh, it it probably will not be a finish in no. a month. Our yeah. other new to me mm -hmm. designers, we've tried really hard. Yes. And but we we did break our rules um, because yes. it's a little. We had said no project bigger than one fifty um, by one fifty mm -hmm. stitch count, and this one is actually one sixty five by one ninety five. Yeah. So it's not hugely no. over no but it is over little our little rule that mm -hmm. we set and so it may not get completely finished but we're going to work on it during yes. the month of april so um, yes. i'm excited okay. it's so pretty we'll be doing it as a stitch along with um karen from the stitching mm -hmm. owl she announced she was doing a stitch along and also um um lala d lala d is mm -hmm. doing it and um, so we'll be joining in. She has more structure. Yeah, yeah. Um, a little like, assignments. Kind yes. Of. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna take a look at that. Has she already started? I don't. I think they're starting April first. Okay. So I yeah. I need to go back and look at that again. Uh -huh. Um, because I would like to see what the assignments yeah. are yeah, and too. maybe stay caught up with that. Yes. But I just want to enjoy it because it's I know. so beautiful. I know it is really and, pretty. And um, Marlene excited. was just looking to see where the overdyed flosses were. But I mean, you don't even notice all the details. The This is a little bee scap in the center mm -hmm. with, you know, the like some bees in the inside. And then all the the flowers, like there's this cactus here. I know it's so pretty. That's Flowering blooming. Cactus. Oh, yes. Blooming cactus. And then the birds are really beautiful. Mm -hmm. This hummingbird, the big butterfly. So. And what is um, that? What is that little animal down there? Is I it a lemur or something? That, I don't know called? what that animal is. I should know it, but I, I don't know what kind of animal that is. Anyway, it's very, it looks very like a excited. lemur, but I don't yeah. think it is. I think it's something else. Awesome. Okay, and then um, and then we have some oh, other Now I projects. ended up with both oh, patterns. Uh, we have some other projects that are coming up. So what are you stitching on? Um, what's your new kit start? My new kit start is going to be Hoppy Hedgy. This is for um, the, the event that I am doing, the 20 for 2024 new kit start and i don't remember i think it said the prompt was like spring or mm -hmm. so this is the one that i chose so i have it all kitted up with the fabric and the floss that's how it came when we got it from nancy it's a faith works design yes. marlene showed hers yes. she's got a good start mm -hmm. on hers yeah so that one will be finished yeah. Yeah, it's so fast. It's going to be fast. Okay, and what about for your new houses? My doing? houses are going to be the one that I already showed, my um, uh, Welcome Home Spring by Stitching with the Housewives. It was a new start, mm -hmm. and it's going to be get, get finished. And then I'm going to be working on the Cozy Country on my Home Sweet Home. So it'll be this block. And... Oh, I didn't get the stitched piece out. I don't remember oh. if I, I do have a start. I think I only have some white done right oh, down wow. here. So I have a tiny mm -hmm. start on it, but that is going to be a finish this month for one of my houses. I, I forgot to take this out, so it won't be too glary. Okay, mine is going to be L, the LMN for the ABC samplers. So you are I'm coming along really good with those. And, yes, I am. 
And I just have the start on the roof. That's oh, all I that's have upside down. Oh, is it upside down? Yes, okay. because the little white, there's a oh, row yes, of white stitches white, that's yes, underneath. Under the bottom. I didn't see those. So anyway, so that's one of my houses. And then my second house is going to be uh, from the Home Sweet Home series. And I'm going to work on the Timeless Tudor. That one was really fun, and it actually went I have, really fast. I have a start, a pretty good start on it, because I, I got to work on it for, and it's still going on in my bracket right now. Oh, that's good. So, so that's a good one to yeah. put in then. Yeah, so that that's you what can I thought. Finish it. So Because you have a start on to, this one too, but yeah. you don't have as much done no, on that one. I'm still as, working on that one. I'm putting 100 stitches in, but it only got 100 stitches. This one got 200, plus it's going to get another 100 now. Well, my so, my um, home sweet home so got booted good. out in the first game, oh. so it didn't get any stitches. Oh. Okay, what about your garden? What are you okay. going to do for um, your garden? For my garden, just a minute. Let me get that. Uh, my garden is going to be my Palavon April. Oh, so pretty. That quilt just a with a big bit butterfly. The page. Yeah, there's really no, no. stitching on it. So. Yes. So, and this is what I have done. I have most of the quilt done, I think. And I have, I think I have a little bit of this back is, stitching. This um, is from the book called Paula Vaughn Quilt for All Seasons. So there's one for every month. And so she's working on April. April. And so this is what I have done. So I worked on putting in the grass. Well, you have a lot done. And so I'm going to continue working on that. I still have to backstitch this butterfly. And then there's backstitching um, just around the edge of the quilt. Now, is that so. all not quite all the way across? Uh -uh, not quite. There's a little bit more on the other page. So. Oh, anyway, so pretty. So, yeah, so I'm hoping that I can get this one done during April. My garden is going to be stitching with the Housewives Honeybee Garden. This one I worked on a little bit for March Madness. I finished the N. And so this one is going to get done in April. Because once I actually get mm -hmm. to work on it, yeah, it goes on, pretty fast. On Saturday, it goes fast. Yeah. So this will be our Saturday stitch. Mine is going to be in May, I think, that I work on that one. Um, and okay. then do you have a Sunday sampler? Um, yes, my Sunday sampler is going to be nostalgia. I'm going to work on nostalgia, and I'm working on this block on nostalgia. So I'm going to work on that. I am going to be working on Donia Dorothea. And I did work a little bit on this. I got this red basket put in Ooh, how pretty. and started this um, flower, the stems. Did she? Was she one of your she, March Madness? Yes, stems? and she went on once, but she's done now. Yeah, that's mine did too. Mine went on once, but then she got booted out. So um, I believe, very, no, no, maybe I got to put 200 stitches in her, but she got pretty. booted out the next round. Um, yeah, no, it is. So, She's yes, really I want to work on this on. one and get this one um, mm -hmm. further along. I won't yes. finish it in in April, but mm -hmm. I want to work on it. Me too. And then um, tomorrow, Marlene and I want to work on finishing up our Easter trios because these are simple little designs mm -hmm. that we can work on while we visit with friends that we have coming for dinner. Um, and I'm going to wrap the bars on my oh, Christmas yeah, that's house. A good thing to yes, do too. that's very mindless. Yes. So we're going to work on that. Marlene has already done the bunny, and I have done the sheep. So we each have two left to do, but different, different um, designs. What are you looking for? Well, I'm going to work on that one too, but I was going to work on, do you have your spring pillow? I thought I had Come that on. out here, but I am not seeing it. Yeah, you did say you got it out. Let me go no, see I didn't okay. get it out because yeah. you said. And then we're both going to be continuing to work on our um, oh, yeah. leap year yeah. starts. Yeah. So Marlene, I didn't get mine out. Mine is Jenny Bean for the parlor. Marlene's is um, Hawkrun Hollow, the houses of Hawkrun Hollow. 
Have you worked on it? Yes, I did. I got to work to on it a little bit. I finished, I filled in the roof and then I put in the vine thing. I have to go back in and oh, add the flowers good. So and then just the words. You're going to put the words. So uh -huh. you'll get that done yeah. in March. Yeah. You'll be on track. Yeah. So I need to I need to pull mine out because I just need to put pink flowers and then I'll uh -huh. be on track for what I wanted to get done. In and then April. and then the other one we want to work March on is spring. The spring pillow. This yes, spring was one pillow. of the designs that came in our Stitcher's quarterly box. Mm -hmm. So very good. Yes. So okay. Yes. And then we had some haul. Yes. And we had some haul. So Marley, what did you have for haul? I well first of all last week I had one design that had not come and of course it came the afternoon of after we did the, the floss tube um, and its home is where your per ball is <laughs> so um, this is a heartstring samplery and um, and I, I just love the little cat bird watching up yes, here on the that's roof. so cute so I thought this was a very pretty design. Is that going to be, are you going to put it as one of your houses? Or it's no, too big? No, it's, it's pretty big. And yeah. no, it won't be one of my houses. No, I have my houses planned. And I, I probably may start it, but it's not going to be a house. <laughs> okay, and I got my things from um, that I ordered from um, National Market. And both of them were... Uh, Primrose Cottage things and so I ordered the snowman 2024. I just love him He is so cute just He is beautiful. really cute And then I ordered the monthly minis from Those Primrose are really Cottage. pretty mm -hmm. I They'll really so like cute. those. Yes, really cute in a and that in a little the, bowl or the um book is just beautiful it's very nicely done mm -hmm. it's really nicely done so anyway so yes i got that and then um i did get the fine floss club from fat quarter shop it was greens for march all the moss shade well moss shades not all of them so these were the five that i got the five colors so we're getting a very nice little collection. Yes. We have, what do we have so far? Three now. We've got blues, reds, reds, pink, reds, reds and pinks, pinks, just reds, and then and now the greens. greens. So I'm thinking purples for April, but we'll see. Or maybe yellows. Or maybe yellows. And then I got my um, Atomic Ranch Fabric of the Ooh, Month. That's pretty. 36 count. It's called Golden Harvest. So I think that yeah. is a very pretty neutral. Yeah, that's really pretty. What was it? We, oh, we wanted to use 36 count for the, for that one. For the. Yes. Dwell. Dwell and possibility. Dwell and possibility. Show that. Okay, do you want to show that one? Yes. Okay, I didn't take this one out. Is it too glary? No, I think it's okay. Okay, and then another one we got. Carlene actually ordered these from Keepsakes. Um, is that um, Cardinals? When Cardinals, Cardinals appear, appear by JBW. And this is like a companion to the to the one we did last year with the blooper. And you know, I saw the the sample. The, the model uh -huh. and the colors are much more vibrant than what they are here in oh, the photograph. Uh -huh. They showed it, I, I can't remember if it was when they were at market or if oh. I saw somebody anyway. It's beautiful. So mm. I am very excited yes. to start this one. It's so pretty. Yeah. And mm -hmm. this one is going to be doing, um, what did they stitch it on? Um, the one that we have. Atomic Ranch. Oh, stone. Weathered stone? Weathered stone. Weathered uh -huh. stone. 40 count Atomic Ranch weathered stone. Yeah. And um, okay. so, yeah, I'm excited. Okay. And then so Marlene funny. and I were digging in our stash. And we got, several years ago, we bought a Bent Creek design that was called... 
the big zipper and it was called Dwell in Possibilities. And so this is, let me show. This is, yeah, that's I don't better. know if we have, that's the top part. Oh, yeah, that's the top part. And it actually called for it to be done on 18 count and then over two threads. So it used um, pearl okay. cottons and it was really big. It was huge. Mylene and I have decided we are going to stitch it on 36 count over two. Um, so it's not gonna be as big. But we ordered the, the sections of the design that we didn't have. So because it's seven parts. So it's very pretty. I don't think there's anywhere that shows the whole thing done. Oh yes, here's one. So that's the design. Oh yeah, and it's huge. And it's the Bent Creek, the big zipper. So pretty. I can hardly wait to look so at that. So we, because the, the frame, we each have the pattern. How, so that, how many parts is it? Seven. We oh, each seven. have the pattern that has the outline with the boxes. That's this one. So we're going to, we're going to share um, the other ones because we can rotate those. So we, we bought, we each have bought three and then we're going to share the others kind of just rotate them back and forth between the two of us um so mm, we're very excited i don't know when this is going to get started but that was it but we're very excited it, and i ordered these from cecilia samplers because uh -huh. i could not find them anywhere uh -uh. Mm -mm. it's gonna tip. um yes it probably is so and then we got a free pattern and it's a, the chart, but a from chart. Silver Creek samplers. And then I ordered something else for us. Oh. 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 So this is our. Yes. Oh, and for... the pattern is coming. It oh, hasn't okay. come yet. Oh, okay. Um, this is Thank for you. Spring Quaker. Oh, okay. And I, and yeah. I ordered the little finishing kit. So we oh, have the blooming you. crocus. And then the rickrack for trimming the pillow and the backing. And the little felt piece to cover. The it. wool. The, the little wool thing. Yes. The yes. So um, I got that. And the pattern, um, the design is on its way. Oh, okay. It just, it's coming with my, um, I'm, I signed up to do the mystery quilt along that they're oh, going to wow. be doing. So it's and coming with that. It's coming with that. Oh, okay. How exciting. Uh -huh. I just ordered, when I ordered my threads that I needed for, um, the, in praise of pollinators, I ordered the crepe myrtle oh, so to finish, finish my last the few little Quaker. five stitches on Valentine Quaker. So I'll get that. Okay. Back. That'll be a finish next time. And then, last thing before I forget, our giveaway. Our oh, giveaway, yes. our, our giveaway. giveaway. This week for a giveaway, um, Mylene and I are going to do a gift card uh, from 123 Stitch. Mylene just used this for a friend to mm -hmm. give her a gift. And um, it worked, was very easy. Mm -hmm. And so we decided, hey, you know what? Rather than us choosing a pattern to give you, we'll just give you a little bit extra to put towards an order um, at 123 Stitch. So if you would like to get a gift card from 123 Stitch, well, it'll be emailed to yes. you. It's not an actual physical card. Um, make sure you leave us a comment. Mm -hmm. And anything else, Marlene? No, I don't think so. We're going to be watching basketball today and tomorrow. Yes. In fact, the game's already started. Oh, it has? It's already yes. four? Yes. Oh, no. And so we're going to be watching basketball and um, stitching and doing a lot of stitching next week. Yes. And um, I, I have a not. normal week next week. With oh, that's children. good. So mm -hmm. we much. hope that you all have a beautiful Easter. Yes. Um, and a uh, really, really nice rest of your weekend. We appreciate so much that you spend time with us, that you leave us comments. Um, you always are so kind with your yes. comments, and we yes. do just so appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, we love hearing from you. It's just nice to feel that connection with our, um, with our, our viewers. viewers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, and on that note... Remember that a day without laughter is like a day without sunshine. So wherever you are, bring your own sunshine. 
and keep on stitching. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.